Advisory Committee on Sustainability is a special meeting posted for February 27th at 12.30 p.m. Thank you very much for coming. This is really for me, because I missed the last meeting. So did uh, I. So I can catch up, and we can also continue to make progress on um, our sustainable CT uh, efforts uh, and application. Um, I'm going to skip what's in, what's out until uh, Carolyn gets here. Unless someone wants to give me, did we decide at the last meeting to effectively simply use the state what's in, what's out graphics? Um, does anyone I know she was going to talk about it, and I don't uh, know the exactly. The answer was no, and this can be a long conversation. If you uh, start, we we'll lead with this because it has to do with. We take more than that list, yes. and how do we want to well, deal right, with so that? Let's wait till she gets here so okay. that can be clarified. I'm going to push right that item number three, uh, sustainable CT working session. Um, one thing that uh, Kathy and I have been going back and forth on, and I'm sorry, I, I haven't been responsive, I was half now, um, and now I'm catching up, um, is uh, uh, convening the right meeting through Kate Bush to uh, speak with um, department heads uh, within town hall to introduce them to sustainable CT oh, good idea. and give them an idea of the help we're going to need. And I guess my hesitation on immediately scheduling that meeting is just to uh, make sure we know um, what we're asking for and who we think we need to be asking. Um, so uh, on that, um, we know obviously Ed uh, has some pieces of it. So he's someone that we've identified we need help from. We know uh, Jeremy um, is someone that's going to have pieces of it and is someone we're going to have to get help from. Uh, but in addition, it probably, hi Carol, um, we are on channel 79 and we are going. Um, but it probably makes sense to have um, human services. Yes. Um, it probably makes sense to have someone from Park and Rat. Pam Gary. Um, else is a report to Jeremy in that, or a, a report to Jamie that is related to these efforts. We've got affordable housing. The Medarian Housing Authority is its own entity. That's where there are certainly commission people, if, if you're talking youth commission, arts, uh -huh. um, yeah, the, the arts. Um, Terry has some things relative to yeah. um, Maybe historical commission, sure, yeah. um, but certainly in the first go around, Ed, Jeremy, Human Services, and Parks and Rec are are probably the, the top four so the that would target. be um, informing this application yeah. and helping us prepare certain pieces of information for. Um, and then the environmental, wherever environmental. Yeah, that's commission. technically under um, Jeremy. Rich Jacobson works for Jeremy. So okay. He's under Jeremy also. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, we can ask for Rich to be there, um, who, who attended our first meeting on sustainable CT. Um, and I'm sure Jeremy would bring him along. Um, okay, so with that, I'll go ahead and, and reach out to Kate okay. via email saying, you know, here's the folks that we think um, we would at least want to give the first introduction to uh, and just kind of give an overview of the program and, and what our goals are and how they could help. And Jamie was looking at it one of two ways. Do you bring everybody in and take their time at an existing meeting, or would you make yourself available on a morning and then schedule one-on-ones was another suggestion mm -hmm. of Kate. That would Hello, be Jerry. not we wasting time. We are on and we are underway. So that's, what, that's the discussion that's going to come up as to whether we should just be here so they can drop in or schedule appointments or whether we would do it once. I like the idea of just having everybody in the room and doing it once. I, I, I would agree with that Everybody's if they're going to hear everything and get more context out of it. Exactly. Yeah. If she's willing to do that. Okay. Um, so, uh, Terry, just to bring up to speed, we're talking about uh, 
um, a first meeting with effectively town department heads organized through yeah organized through Kate Bush um, to introduce them to sustainable CC um, and talk about what our goals are and how they can help. Um, and the department heads we've identified so far, of course, are DPW, PNZ, Human Services, and Park and Rec. Um, as people specifically employed by the town working for uh, the person. Um, unless you can think of any others, that's what we're going to ask for um, as soon as it can be organized. And, uh, <coughs> and Kathy and I will be prepared. I can't think of any others, but yeah. um, as, a, as a secondary adjunct to this, yes. to also contact various and sundry commissions. Yes. Not the employees, but the commissions. Yes. Yeah. Like you get the Arts Council or the yeah. Housing and Authority there's, or there's a dozen of them. Yeah. And so we should um, let's let's talk about that list right now too, since we have time. What is what is that? I thought you should mention. It. What is that list? Uh, among others, Dairy and Beautification Commission, okay. Cemetery Committee, Monuments and Ceremonies Committee. Environmental Protection Committee, uh, Arts Council, sir. Arts Council. Uh, um, I think that's not a town committee. It could be a town the town Arts Center. I don't know if yeah, it's a town committee there. Oh, so are all those? We'll go through the list. Oh, yeah, that's easy to find. Well, where did you get that list? It's probably on the Super website. Secret. It's on the website. No, no, no nothing is. It's um, in my computer. Um. <laughs> there is a there is a town uh, group that tries to put together that pamphlet every year and have a Oh, the, yeah, League of Women Voters. Yeah, they, they try to um, right make okay. sure all the li Doesn't committees are listed. Have a list of like seventeen. Oh, that's that's the other well, thing. Be, yeah. Yes, before we get to that though, okay. on, back to yeah. I think is the youth youth a separate. And Alyssa, Alicia Sillers, she's a, another employee okay. of the right. town that Focuses some on. of the things that relate to youth and education um, might fall under right. her purview. Okay. So yeah. I would add her to a okay. list of That's an Sillers, alley. Um, Alicia. She Alicia. runs the youth commission. A -L -I -C -I -A. Social services. Okay. Sillers, S-I-L-L-A-R-S. I'm sorry, I just wanted to oh, okay. get no, there before we get... The is one of the list of the 17 plus organizations on the green team. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that, that's another, so they're, they're I guess this, this is a, a series of, um, I guess, rings of outreach, I don't know how else to describe it. Right. Hi, we're on Channel 79, we're on the way. Yeah. Um, uh, well, and we're, we're actually trying to have a targeted meeting because three people want to leave at once. Okay. Um, so we have, you know, department heads, uh, and then we have committees that are town committees kind of reporting to the selectmen or otherwise. And then we have the ring of uh, community uh, committees that have been provided. Okay, so to that end, at our meeting last month, uh, one of the charges that I got was to compile a group of what? Sustainable CT refers to partners. Yeah, partners. Possible partners. Yeah. So I've got a list. I've got five copies here oh. that I can distribute. I've got 46. You did the homework. I yeah. like when you, I like when you do the homework. Yeah. 46 <laughs> various <laughs> operations. Is it one page or three pages? Three pages. All three pages. Three, three pages document. or one? Three, three, three pages. Three pages. Three pages. Three pages. One document. Somewhere between two and four. Two pages. <laughs> Um, so, if I, I took Kathy's caveat to heart that the only way sustainable CT is going to accept it is if we have their website, their contact information. Fantastic. What they're about, what their address is, etc. So, it's fabulous. Uh, now, you know, this is just the overview. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Thank you. Ultimately, if we're going to be pristine in this, we want to actually contact each one of these groups and have them supply us with a bullet point sheet of who they are, what they do, how they do it, when they do it, and what their goal is. 
Uh, I've gotten preliminary back from the Darien Library, mm -hmm. from, the uh, from the cemeteries committee. Those two responded almost immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't gotten down to the next layer to find out how many points that we have to do. That's right. for another time. And so, well, yeah. and I, do, I want to circle back in my time here, however that works, with um, the, the eight to ten that we know we can get points. Yeah. Right. And priority. exactly priority what right. it would need to be submitted for right. those, because yeah. those can be done basically now, yeah. and mm -hmm. that's going to get us halfway maybe. Yeah. Um, and then the other halfway is what else is out there, and some of that might come from talking to department people or whatever. Yeah. So, um, just want to make sure we, before I go, that we don't at least understand so, yeah, so what the submission would be for anything. Let's 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 talk about action items. So one yeah. action item is is uh, me working on the schedule that meeting with the Correct. critical department heads. So then what do we want to do as a next action item either for the town committees or for the community organizations right. to reach out? Do we, do we have a short list of ones that we want to reach out to? Do we want to do a presentation at the library and invite everybody? Do we want to only invite the critical eight to ten, you know, what do we think the next step is on outreach? Um, or is that, is that a one-to-one -one where you go to their meetings or, you know? I would say there's two ways to do that. One is obviously <coughs> to write a letter and, and whether it's to these people or the members of the green team or whatever and yeah. introduce who we are and what we're trying to do and see what comes back in. Yeah. Um, that's just a sort of a soft toss. Uh, another thing would be to ask the library or a green team meeting um, There's one on Monday that we give sort of an update on where yeah. where we're at, yeah. um, and if there are things that are going on that would be possible um, to get points, places yeah. of points, yeah. and but so either of those two ways, you know, would any or all of those ways would get the information out because as we know, very few people know. I like the, um, the RTM. I like the any as opposed to the or. And, and, I, and also I think the RTM knows very little about us. Mm -hmm. and I yeah. tried to make some of that at public hearing aware, but nobody knew what it was. Yeah, it's kind of too yeah so they're, they're right. related to the town, so I think yeah. they have committees, too, that work on things. Present, right? We can schedule a meeting with the RTM and present it all, right? So I see the RTM, the green team, the broader list of commissions and or. I mean, nonprofits in town. A simple email, like with like 50 <clears throat> email addresses for all the green organizations. I mean, that's a good yeah. way you can do it. Yeah, that sounds like an introductory email. Yeah. Describes what we're trying to accomplish and what we're doing. That we joined. That we're going to be trying to get certified. Mm -hmm. That um, it's going to require a lot of um, collaboration, support of many people in the community. And here's some things that. Green team might think about or whatever, and we'd love to come in and talk. Sure. Are you on that? I think I was added to your list last month. Because yes. I'm technically not in charge of green team. It's Ju Juliet. Yes. And Pamela. What's Juliet's last name? Kane. Kane. C A H N. And I have met I, I have met with her a long time ago Is about this. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking of some other Kane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. So again, we have. <laughs> This is a Pandora's box. We have limited time. We want to focus our time carefully and uh, make sure the work effort is spread around. Um, so what do we think the next, beyond the department head meeting, what do we think the next outreach is? you want to do an email to the green team? Yes. Okay. So we're going to email the green team. I, I would say that let's cast the widest net possible right now because especially when we're deal dealing with volunteer organizations just as with us everybody is busy and perhaps one person on the green team just is focused on something else in their life when they get that email from the green team but they may actually be involved with uh, the Woodland Park Preservation Committee and they may actually be receptive when they get that email. Yeah. So I'd say cast the widest <clears throat> net. And who knows where our 
the people who have the time and the and the initiative will come from. Yeah. Right. Kathy, I'd be happy to work with you on if you want Great. to craft Perfect. an email like that. We're just kind of a, a, yes. a blanket and that could, statement. That could go like, to different with links. Yeah. Yes, and then that, that could go the, yeah. to or edit it to go. <laughs> yes, right. to all these people. Different to different different yes. I'll take a first email crack and give it to you to edit. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> My husband's a writer. I'll make him help. Perfect. <laughs> this is really good. He's better writing than I am. Yeah. People for. Because I'm sure there are a dozen organizations I've missed. Yeah. Yeah. This is really good, yeah. though. That's yeah. excellent. Um, yeah, no, that's fantastic. Um, all right, so those, that's two action items. Um, on the specific um, point targets, um, do we have action items that need to happen, or does anyone have questions or comments about the stuff that they're working on? Um, uh, going down, I had the C face, I think is done. Open space is because we're working with Jeremy. 401 is working with Jeremy. Parking needs assessment, I started to collect information on that. I skipped over a lot of free, which I think you have a lot of responsibility right. in. Well, that's pretty much what that is. Okay, so um, you when we met when we met with um, Jamie, you had taken a crack at yeah. a, a list, yes, yeah. of things that looked like they would have points. So, yeah. um, so I looked at that and looked online, and I want to step back for a minute okay, because right ahead. right now you and I are the only two people that have access yeah. to the portal for the town. Yeah. And we can change what's and Jamie and can change what's in there. So I went to our portal, yeah. and I took these items, yeah. and I went to that. Started moving over into well, it, it, you point. can say planned or unplanned. Yeah. So the <laughs> ones that are here, I made plans, and it starts doing a total of how many points if you got them, okay. it would be. Yeah. So it's all kind of interactive, and then for each one of them is a two to four page description of what you must submit um, and the points that you would get to and I only there I have them in PDF form they're also all available on the website and I made printed one copy that I can pass around okay. but um, for each one it'll tell you what the objective is and just taking C pace to start with you the more you do you more you are and you have to pass a municipal resolution to opt into C pace that's five points and then it tells you what you must submit you have to encourage local building owners to access it and you have to submit strategies and combinations and lists of names and education events and then earn credit for projects that have that have been done by the green team so and you have to submit so the more so you do on actual c -based projects in town. That would be so I think what has to happen is someone has to look at every single one of these for, for these yeah. and determine whether it's five points or 15 yeah. points and then get the things that need to be submitted. Yeah. It's great to introduce and everything, but this is a tremendous, some of them are four pages long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think at some point these have to be yeah. assigned yeah. to individuals to yeah. figure out if we've got all of them. I can do the c -based one and I only think we're going to get five points because I don't think on the resolution, and I don't think it's going to happen in the next few months. Correct. So, but I know that we have projects. I've already got the list from the green. Yes, team. but have we done anything to encourage local <laughs> builders? I mean, that and gets that's back a, that to. Back, I think it was only twelve months too, and so. Okay. Uh, um, so this one point six, I'm going to, and I'm going to just write here for the point is assigned to Craig. Yep. I'm um, happy to take two point four and four point one. Craig. 2.4. Uh, 2.4 is open space, 4.1 is sustainability and resiliency in the POCP. Um, then, this is kind of my, <laughs> um, then what do you have? Um, 5.2, promote effective parking management, which again, yeah. more you do, has a series of parking needs, as a parking needs assessment, implement non-regulatory and regulatory yeah. management systems. There's there's a list of them, and depending on what you do, you get certain points for each of yeah. them, and for each one of them, there is so points and submission we have, requirements. Um, on so who would that be? Uh, I should probably someone edgy here. on 5.2. Yeah, I would say, yeah. I mean, I'll monitor it as far as our group, but I think Ed Gentile is going to be the one that needs to help with that. You know, I have a downtown parking management 
uh, report, I have a downtown parking study, I have a Corbin block parking demand analysis, I have some things that the town has done to study and create management plans um, uh, as a start. And I haven't really looked at these versus that to see if it means points, but I'm happy to do that too. Um, so I'll work with that on five two. 6.1 is track, benchmark, and track energy uses. Yes, that's going to be honorary uh, absentee member, Ken Co. Oh, I, I have one. She yes, needs can do, right? Yeah. Ken's oh, she needs her yeah. Yeah. Then Ken needs to see exactly what the submission yes. I'm, I'm going to be working with Ken on that. So. Okay, so, so Beth, Beth and Ken. Beth and Ken. Beth and Ken. Again, these are, you can see all this online yep. without being. Yep. Oh, yeah, the changes, yeah. You can register yourself with your email. If we if we want to, we can add names to the portal to allow people to change it. But mm -hmm. we haven't done that yet. But yeah. you can see all that online. Right. I think to me, it's a it's a nice um, it is a collaborative cloud based solution. So that if we all have access, then we don't it doesn't get bottlenecked. Right? Correct. You can go in and you can work on your little mm -hmm. thing. You can upload PDFs. Correct. To that little Which thing. is where we need to there. get. We have not done that so yet. So I would say at, at least the official members uh, of this committee that are interested in having access to the So portal. who would want their name on there? Like Every, shouldn't everybody? We all? Okay, yeah. so I just yeah. want to make sure and I can yeah. go if, in and set those up. If we all have a up. task, we should have our name on it. Then I will set those up between now and next week. Because next you're saying meeting. for each one of the things we're responsible for, we can go in and see what's required. Well, you can no, see no, it without me. Yeah. uploading yeah. Data. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the up. Create. It's you can see it. You can <clears throat> see all that this is printed. You don't okay. need access. You just go to actions and dig through them. Okay. But if you were to then say, I'm going to submit the CPACE yeah. Green Bank list, list, okay. then you have to put that back up. And that stuff all has to be done in March and April. We have about mm -hmm. eight to eight weeks to okay. get the information in. So it's for like getting first the go. data up on the website, and so, that would be the easiest place to go then to have it all. Funnel so, through one or two people. Right. So it add to the Darien portal is basically um, can what I, ask I will one do. Question? When we get like you said that there was a parking downtown management yeah. plan, yeah. like do we just submit this plan or do we have to put it in their format? Uh, well, you have to read what they're asking for. Okay. Right. So if it says conduct a study of your parking, you that can should say, be it. The study. Here's a link to the parking study. You okay. know, or here's the study. If it says you know establish. A management plan you could say well here's the management plan okay. and but if it says you know give us this information then you have to fill that information out right okay. so you just okay. have to read with but if we have a plan like that was already a study yeah. we just upload that yep. and then exactly. fill up maybe the cover page. they all need certain things like reference highlights mm -hmm. six point three point something okay. a b this is what what we did and okay. then it would everything would link the people at sustainable ct are available to answer all these questions. Okay. They'll take a phone call from anyone on the committee. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Good. All right. 6.3, achieve high energy performance for yeah, individual I, buildings. I want to give this to you, you Beth, I think it's okay, yeah. it, again it, because 6.3. Yeah. So what you'll see if you're using Here. the Energy Star portfolio. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. I'm sorry. so sorry. No, that's okay. That's right. What you'll see, Beth, if you're using the Energy Star portfolio, mm -hmm. is they'll actually grade the buildings right. on the portfolio right. based on their size, energy yeah. use, and comparable. And, mm -hmm. and I forget what the number is, but let's just say if it's above an 85, technically you could be an Energy Star certified okay. building, okay. right? And I think <clears throat> many buildings in town could get that. Well, uh, Ed said that town yeah, hall, town hall is was. An right. I think a few schools are. Yeah. And, you know, there, so there's there may be select buildings in town mm -hmm. that, that are eligible to achieve that score, but then you actually have to go through the process of registering them with okay Energy each property, Star. yeah, yeah, okay. so, or, or whatever it is. I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of throwing this to you and saying, okay. Figure it these out. are easy <laughs> points. If we already have buildings that uh, mm -hmm. would comply, then it's five points per building. Okay. Um, and 6.4 <clears throat> is increased use of renewable energy in municipal buildings, and 6.7 is yeah. install efficient street lights. So, so I don't on, know if those yes, go Those to, are both yeah. going to end up. I have Kate and Ed listed on 6.4. Um, we just installed three solar rooftops that I think are all online right now. I'm okay. not sure. But 
just and by doing that, we have increased our purchase of yep. Class One renewables. Yep. Um, and the street lights would go to. And all it should be Cape Net also because they ne you know, negotiated the contract and all. Right. So, so I'll keep them. Just keep them in this pile of mm -hmm. you and I. I, mean, I, I can track those too, but I think that'll. So some of these things will happen at. the To talk end. to Ed. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, um, and that leads us into seven. Sorry for going fast. Yeah. But, um, snow seven is freaking nine. me out. I have seven, seven five. Me, seven. Oh, pool, seven. Well, which one? I look, seven, uh, seven point one. Is I'm, have, I'm, I'm not. I'm not on the ones that I'm using. The ones there are more. Yeah, I'm, nice. t I'm going through ca ca blah, 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 Craigslist first, oh, and sure. then we'll get to that. Okay. Seven point five was report materials management data and reduce waste. So that I have Darren. those. I have the reports from Darren. I've copied them already. The PDFs are ready to be uploaded. Um, we have a 20% reduction over from uh, 2015 to 2018 uh, in the quantity of MSW reported to the DDP. Okay, so that um, one and then? No, I think, like, so for instance, that one, I have the memos that went to the DEEP, but if you look at their requirements, they also say you have to advert, you know, get out to the public what those numbers were, right? Um, so there, you may come back to the group and ask someone to work on yeah, what's on Facebook, the editor, what might be Facebook, on what's on the Facebook page. So do you want or? Carolyn to take yeah. a look at this would one Facebook too? Would Facebook count? Like yeah, the post sure. Absolutely. Yeah, would Facebook post count? And I mean, that's a public Want me to give thing. Carolyn this one yeah. and see what's I'll in there? So we have... What is that, 7 point what? Five. Seven yeah, we had 3,445 tons of MSW in 2015 and 2,672 tons of... MSW in 2018 for a 22% reduction, which would get us 20 points. Excellent. 7-7 um, um, seven, seven is Carolyn. Re recycle additional materials and compost organics. I think this one is going to be yours, Carolyn. Yes, we, yeah. get, we get 10 points for each thing that we recycle that's not required. Yeah. So it should be organics, mattresses, paint, smoke detectors. Um, we should get 10 points for each of those. Easy points. Mm-hmm. There is, and Carolyn and I spoke about, which is like yours, the one, Terry, you and I were are going, are going to talk about, um, 7.8, which was not on your list, was develop a food waste prevention and food scrap, scraps recovery campaign. And while we probably can't get much, we're looking at the possibility through even the event this coming weekend. So I'm just going to hold on to this right now. I'm not going to hand it to okay. you. If some of what doing at that youth day with e education about food waste and the activities and the coloring might be a five point, might fall, we don't know yet. So I'll just hold on to that with my name at this point in time okay. as something that wasn't on your list, Craig, and and kind of fall. Yeah, my list was selfishly focused. Selfishly on stuff focused. That I, I thought well, I could, and and that's where know. we. I think we need to start that yeah. because <laughs> if we know those and we can get that information now, we start getting some feedback about we're not doing. The sooner yeah. this stuff is in, in my opinion, the better off we'll be able because oh, yeah. if we yeah. find we're doing it all wrong, mm -hmm. yeah. then yeah. we're not going to get anything right. done by May. Right. right. So um, we then went on to, and I apparently left in my printer. Yeah, I never went back to my printer. 8.1 was yes. submit the housing data profile, so, and 8.2 was affordable housing data. Yeah, on the submit the housing doc, I have it. It's available online. I downloaded it. Um, it's, it's, it's six pages of housing statistics for the town of Darien and characteristics, affordability, diversity, uh, you know, types of units, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but a part of that is then conducting some kind of public meeting where you discuss it, you know, how the community feels about it, what the community's goals might be surrounding it. So 8.1 talks about then now the need to have a meeting. So I think that's a good one to bring to our department heads. Yes, yes, that goes back to that meeting these are the types of things and the ones yeah. we're already working on that would be points. And so maybe you have planning and zoning and the housing authority and human services all have a public meeting where they talk about it or something. I don't know. Well, can um, we get can we get points for um, grandfathered like Alan O'Neill? So that's the next one. 8.2 oh, okay. is affordable housing. So every 0.25% increase in affordable housing in your town, we could get 10 points. Unfortunately, the Heights came online uh, more than five years ago. So we don't get credit for that. What about that town hall properties? That's not online yet. Okay. <laughs> um, so we've, we've actually been very plateaued between 2014 and 2017, okay. so there's been no increase over the clawback period. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I, I had all that data. I've downloaded all that data. I literally have what our percentage is for each year. Um, uh, so this might go into, we might want to try for other points okay. on this one because we've approved developments with affordable housing in them mm -hmm. that is under construction, mm -hmm. you know, so we might be able to make a good case for why we should get some points right. for the actions we've taken on affordable housing. And that would right, probably right. require calling Sustainable CP and, and working how with their it, program right. managers yeah. on this is where we're at, what right. do we do? Yeah. So right. that, that would be a next step. We, do, we, yeah, we, do, we haven't increased within the allowable callback period. Well, have we done this last year? Anyway. We would have gotten 10 or 20 points because there was a nice little bump in 2013. Well, that, that's a compelling case. <laughs> the, the note over on the side column, the municipality must be above the 10% affordable housing threshold mm -hmm. within one year. So No, that's the, uh, there's a different one. There's a couple of different ones. Mm. Damn. So uh, you got to read the um, version. I, 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 also, they change, they, ha they update I don't know what printout that original yeah, yeah. printout was because they have been updating in okay. 2000. Whatever we have may is not, when he printed it out, is not okay. all that they made changes to. Yes. Not every item, but to a lot yeah. of items. They were edited and updated. So I would not rely on the yeah, large gotcha. printed copies so for, for accuracy. For instance, in 2013, our affordable percentage was 2.62%. In 2017, it's 3.52%. So actually went up by three quarters of a percent because of <laughs> the lights coming online at okay. 100 plus or minus units, uh, which we would have gotten 30 points for, but I think it we missed the clawback period, mm -hmm. unless we want to try to get it, even though we missed the clawback period by one year. And I think that yeah. someone who is, can, is competent yeah. to speak on this should be, be making phone calls in the next month or so yeah. and on, yeah. on here's where we're at with 8.2, yeah. give us okay. some direction. Okay. Um, and the, but seriously, the, these are, I, I would not rely on the original printed copies for yes, accuracy. They're different, yeah. I would use what's online. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, rep, the they're good reference, but the, re the website is what you need to use. Print them out, yeah. And I printed these, the things I've printed out, I printed today. Okay. Yeah, me too. So these are okay. And yesterday and last okay. week. Okay, perfect. So we have In the about past week. five more minutes. Yeah, okay. and before this, the yeah. last thing that is really, I, 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 I really need help, Carolyn, and I spent a lot of time talking about 9.1, which is optimized for equity. Oh, yeah. And um, we, we had a difficult time trying to make it fit. Under <laughs> well, understand, <laughs> even before make it fit, what's being asked. Mm -hmm. And it requires, and again, this gets back to the department heads, to work with identify underserved communities in your town, underserved populations in your town, and develop actions that bring services or benefits of your town to that community. Yeah. In a community like ours, it will probably be youth or seniors because it's yeah. not necessarily going to be, um, or it could be, it, or so I think through human services and the youth right. commission actions that are planned to address some needs of those communities yes. are what means. So human services might be a good exactly program. social and services i thought services. we could use the beginning of food composting and getting getting bins or transportation or things like that to people that might not otherwise do it Car carolyn was kind of thinking that wasn't there really isn't a barrier to that service and i was thinking there's probably a way to help people yeah. so well, the to the, well yeah but yeah we have to have the free one, so. right the, right. To have that, so that may be, but there we have to undertake an action nine one to be certified. Yeah. In other words, we'd have to have, for example, like a collection area for people who are, or even a collection I mean, service. So there's a car to get, for, or can't drive to get to. Exactly. Right, and it right. doesn't mean you have to make this be a permanent thing. In reading what other people have done, they've often been a one-off yeah. activity so that took place. Either. So to do something. And if it's not this, the composting thing, we have to find something that we're doing. So we if try it's 9.1, would everything that person to person not fit squarely in that Well, it, it might, but I suggest you go read the entire thing. Like, I, I printed out 8, 1, 2, and 9, and apparently never went to my printer. <laughs> Um, but it goes through a very long discussion of equity, diversity, 
and equity of populations in your community and identifying those populations that are not that are not served by certain things that happen in your community and then taking an action that meets a need and i did describe before that in one community it was transportation to the farmer to the farm stands and a farm stand a pop-up farm stand brought to people in an in an a, in a housing you know project that didn't have transportation and the the farm stands aren't on the bus route so they came up with something in Glastonbury to give a service that's a benefit of the town to people that otherwise would not have been able to buy fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So that was theirs. And they did it once. They don't do it every week. Got but it. there was, an, and so you have to do something. They created a thoughtful action. They pre created a thoughtful mm -hmm. action that took into consideration an underserved population. If it was youth and it was youth with issues of, you know, Drug use. I'm, I have no idea. Right. It, it, it could be a very broad, broad. And we don't. And it doesn't have to be applied to the food scraps. It can. Literally it could be applied be to, anything. to anything. I thought the food scraps, which is brand new, because you have to take care of actions going forward. You can't yeah. apply it to actions in the past because it says okay. meet with somebody, identify the need, okay. put it into place. Yeah. If you go through the submission steps, it's really people that can't otherwise get to the. Like to that service. To that service. Mm -hmm. They right. can't and avail themselves. So do you have like a collaborative but is that, way? It, that may very well be, but the yeah, town has services. to somehow be involved exactly. in the okay. action. That's the thing. Person but to person. That's, yes, but involved. that's... Or are you going to take Kathy's saying it has to go forward. What about downstairs? Something that's yeah. not social services. Services. Well, that's why I said going back to meeting with human services, but I'm asking everybody to read 9.1 and think about something in town. I like Humbar is a good friend of mine. Okay. Shoot it to her too and see if she has any thoughts. Yes. Well, they were right. Right. That's what we were yes. talking yeah. about. That and was, that's yeah. just like the slow collaborative. Like, <clears throat> you get she has like a little power ten people willing to do that or whatever. You know. Right. Maybe we could do a collection stuff. for yeah. Easter things yeah, I mean, for that's a good seniors question, who like maybe don't have the funds to buy things for their grandparents and youth who like, does don't it have, have to involve. You know, like they do for the Christmas drive. So population of underserved people, or if you did it for twenty people, forty days from next week, right? So it's almost too soon. All I all I know is that it. Again, I haven't called to ask them to talk about it, but I did hear the description of one at the training I went to. Yeah. There are webinars that talk about this as well. So anybody that wants to educate themselves, please feel free to use the website. Secondary, secondarily to that, speaking to the human services or social services people would be, be good, good. But if you get onto Sustainable CT and read it, it'll take you about five or 10 minutes at the it most. It is a really simple website. They were, and then the information well, no, is all It's just going to 9-1 and re read what okay. they read it and see if that helps us come up with an idea because my initial idea may or may not be useful. We'll have to come up with something else. You want else. to see what the website looks like? Oh, I've been on it a lot. She's been using it. But so. I can't figure out where you found the examples for what each town did. I when you go to and each town and on the map. Looked. Yeah, you have to go into their but application. Oh, is it on the application? Yeah. CT success stories. Because I was looking at it. I was like, I don't think I'm allowed to look at that. No, you can see what any town has done. <laughs> yeah, if you're like having you a problem, Because remember, you had those cute little postcards. That's where that came from? Yes, but if you can't, they like send me an email or send me your cell phone. We can walk through Tomorrow. it on the phone. When you get back from Boston. Uh, yeah, when I get back from Boston. Have fun. My overnight trip. Okay. Um, yes, Sorry sir. to exit. You'll be here Saturday? Yes, I'm just going overnight. Okay. And I. you want me to make the sorting game? Um, one to three. One to three, though. Yeah. The sorry, sorting game? Oh, you're making it? I'm sorry. Was, was that the agreement we had at yes. the library? I think we should do that, and we'll just have a coloring page also. But maybe we can revisit the idea of using your play fruit and vegetables. And I have them all. OK, good. I'm going to bring some supplementary materials and nice. to add to the game. We are going to do arts and crafts with three Little to seven-year-olds on Saturday. I'm so sorry I won't be here. Oh. <laughs> I'm That's sorry to leave. Yeah. Thank I'll you, Craig. I'll be in Vermont celebrating thank my son's birthday. Oh, Carrie, yeah. thank you. That was amazing. It'll take us she back to um, preschool. Yes. Girl Scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Remember yeah. that? The yeah. early yeah. year yeah. Girl Scouts. Oh, my God. Project. Project. Well, see you. Well, you're not listening. <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Bye. 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 <laughs> Safe travels. Um, so the, to the extent that anybody recalls putting their name next to an item that we didn't just run through, I know there's a bunch of stuff under three. I think that, oh, I have a bunch of stuff. Um, you and I have been the library. I can tell you what they are. It's got to be yeah, just um, you know, continue to pursue uh, uh, your item. Uh, you know, we'll get you 
Kathy will get you up and running on the website. You, you, can, you can go create your own account right now and then just tell her mm -hmm. the username you use to create your own account. And I think then we can get you linked in mm -hmm. with the Darian account. So well, that's how we do I, it? Before I do that, that actually. Yeah, you can, you can, anybody here can go right now and okay. establish an account. Okay. And okay. just let uh, Kathy I, know what you're using. Okay. Before I would upload it to them, I, <clears> I would, uh, I'll email it to everybody else and I would yeah. ask everybody else to look at it for uh, updates. So, for example, what Laura just mentioned, what she said and what the website say are two different things and who to contact oh, yeah. on their environmental group and green team. Okay. So, the, the websites are not, again, these are Here volunteer are organizations, they're not always accurate and up to date. Yeah, the websites are not always. Green yeah. team is the umbrella that oversees all of the organizations, right. and DEG is one of those organizations under the green team. But I, I've noticed that the websites are not accurate Got in it. terms of food contact. Sure. The recent change of DEG with Paola not being co chair is very recent, so it might yeah. not even be updated. Okay. And do we have, Terry, do you have the League of Women Voters pamphlet that they publish? Nope. Okay. That used, that used to be on the table downstairs. Yeah, yeah. it's um, and it's on the town. It's on their website. It is on their website. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can also um, send you a PDF of it, Terry. Oh, I can that's take. Perfect. I have a copy. That's they do they, it every year and they update it. And a lot of time is spent making sure. Oh, sure, it's accurate. Ensuring you know, I get calls accurate. from them every year, and you know, mm -hmm. who's on your committee and you know, right. Um, uh, All right. But I mean, even things that we can get for us on. So, for example, Friends of Gorham Pond, which, along with the town, mm -hmm. uh, built those fish ladders. Nowhere on the website does it mention that those fish ladders exist. And That's weird. It, it, it's not there. Did you wind up getting a copy of that? So, document? there's a lot of From areas where we can get points, but unless we're actually getting the inside information from the people in the specific groups, there may be a whole lot of low-hanging fruit that is invisible to us. Yeah, the mention of the fish ladders is probably in the minutes of some meeting. Yeah, that's where we would find it. I'm trying to think if that came through the RTM. What's that? Well, how that's long ago was that? A long, quite a while ago. Yeah. And, and what you said, that's that 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 the League of Women Voters. We'd have to see how far back that, 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 Well, if you go to lwv.darian.org sure. and then click on their uh, government guide. Lwv.darian.org. Yeah. <clears throat> And it should have contacts for, for most of the charities. most of the yeah. yeah. To what's in, what's out, mm -hmm. and, and just get up to speed on whatever conversations or decisions were made a couple of weeks ago relative to what do we do with the graphics and the collateral for educating Darien on what's in, what's out. Right. So, was there a resolution? Or oh, um, <laughs> yeah, well, we talked about it. Um, I think our resolution was that we we need to get something out there. We need to get something up on the town website soon yeah. because people are asking for it. There's, there's a lot confusion. of confusion. It's a regular um, request from people. Um, I think Laura, you had mentioned that just out in the general school population, it's it's a big issue. So I think we need to get something up there. And the question is, you know, whether we just like, you know, kind of stick this up there just so that people have the, the list of, you know, exact items, or do we put up, you know, the what's what in, is. what's out guide, which more and more towns are doing, yeah. New Canaan the most recently. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll put a proposal on the table. For okay. Them. I think that immediately we should um, uh, 
delete and consider obsolete the our, existing our, list. The existing flyer. Yep. And I think we should put up the state's available graphic that's ready to go, what's in, what's out, and you know that that's what should be the copies in DPW. That's what should be on the DPW website. That's what should be handed out to people, with one caveat: we should have essentially a second page or a reverse page mm -hmm. to that, which then goes into a little more detail on the the, the allowances in the This page. That well, page. Yeah. yeah. Fact, this page we, should be updated. And, and, yeah. and we could have like an additionally recycled in single stream in Darien. Right. Da, 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 da. Well, but why <clears throat> would you not consider doing the exact reverse? Put up here's what's acceptable in there, <laughs> oh. and, and a note with an asterisk. If you want to see which of these items qualify yeah, statewide, go to page two because the number of people who are not overly involved are They're not going to go to page two ever. I see. So why don't we have what Darian takes as page one and list because it's so special and unique. But I so you know, know what I can do? What I can do is I can take a PDF. And I can literally go down this, and I can put a parentheses next to gift wrap and gift bags, and write aloud in Darien on the what's outside, mm -hmm. and just that, yeah. alter their list right. with, with, a, good with idea. a little just asterisk that down. says aloud in Darien. Okay. Allowed there, allowed, it, you know, whatever. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what I think we, I think that's a good idea. What I don't think we should do though is to take their list and alter it. In, yeah. in, in other words, to delete the things on the oh, out then, list. Then it would be a confusing. It would be yeah. extremely confusing yeah. because people would see one list and then they would see another list and there would be confusion. Why is it on this list? It's the same, you know. So, but but to, in perhaps like italics, small italics, yeah, I mean, say a lap permitted in Darien. I could, I could put an asterisk next to the five or six items. Mm -hmm. and I could put a big note down here. Just say, although not allowed uh, in statewide, statewide, our, you know, it is allowed in Darien because our recycler can handle it. Right, or or even just you know these items are permitted mm -hmm. in single stream for Darien residents or something yeah. like that. And then we just update this second page. And that's our second. Page. And that's our second page. Yeah. Okay. We just need to get to the end of this. It's been a year. And we just gotta, you know. Stop where we are. Right. <laughs> Make it happen. So I will send. Well, uh, you had. Can you send me the five or six items on here that we do yeah. accept? And mm -hmm. then I'll make the edits and I'll send it back to you. Okay. And then you um, can get Sophie to do that second page. You have. A, I think I sent you a PDF of this, so you have yes. it. Yes. Oh, right. Then I can get it online. You can get it online, right? I will send you. Okay. So send. Okay. And and also. Um, so we, can we? I want to take an official vote on that okay. direction. So all those in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we also have to just make people aware that this is as effective as of now. That things can change depending on, you know, what we're told yeah. by city carding. That yeah. you know, if they find that they're getting something too many of something and it's they're not selling them or it's it's hazardous for their workers they might it might be subject on this change. exactly subject right change. okay um once we have the graphics updated then we have to talk about the distribution of bids we don't have to talk about that day right and that's going back to try to get the haulers to send it to all their customers and so like yes figuring out our printing yes costs and capabilities and you know we certainly want to be available when permitting starts you know um, Et cetera, et cetera. The other thing we should do, I think, is we should um, draft a press release from DPW um, and just say this is what this this is what dairy oh, yeah, residents yeah, yeah. can recycle. Yeah. Directly there have to been some updated right. updates. You know, it has changed. Please look. Right. PR. Yep. So I think we should do that as soon as we get the list on the website because we yeah. want to be able to refer people to the list yep. on the website. Yep. I agree. Just describe broadly what they are in the piece, but then you refer them for details to the website. Um, the other thing I'm going to reach out to Jamie on is whether or not she wants to have a PR event now that the solar, solar panels. panels are yes. online to have some, you know, groundbreaking, as it were, uh, with some cameras and an article. Mm -hmm. um, so we might need you to help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy to help. Good. <laughs> um, anything else? 
Um, did everyone? I heard from Christine and Craig about um, the map that Sophie updated. Did anyone? Oh yeah, that was that was good. Um, let me call that up. Should, right, so, but I thought that we were not going to pay to have that distributed. No, that's the the site map we. This map. Yeah. Right. It's just been updated, so we want to get the new one up on on the. Yeah, uh, we just want to get it up on the website, but not yeah. the print. Swap the shop was right. swap shop and waste oil were repositioned, and the food scrap was mm -hmm. added. Yeah, and it looks good. That's good. Yeah. So now, Craig, how do we get that on the website? I can't. I would send it to. Um, Is it to George? Cindy and? Oh, t uh, no, I would send it to Cindy and and copy Ed and Darren. Okay. And I don't know exactly who. Is responsible for making that happen. Okay. <clears throat> well, we can say, yeah, here's the new map okay. we need to get it uploaded. Okay, good. Uh, oh, actually, um, Sophie's out of town right now, but I believe that sh this is not the final, final. I think she she will um, send it to us on a higher resolution. Yeah, for printing, you need the higher resolution for oh, web. For, for the web, web it's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So she's back on Monday. Monday? Okay. Oh, that's not too long to wait. No. Um, to her about so we'll have Cindy put, put this one up now. Okay. Quality is fine for computer screen. I can read it. Okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked good too. How can I find out okay. who runs the yeah, town's because website? Terry's going to yeah. email it to us. I don't know. Us. Sure I, don't know. I mean, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. Know. Like I think I need like Linda, uh, Linda would know. And, there's each department has a specified person, and it may only be two or three different people. But it's the people down in down in the Chelsea's office. Okay. So they can't Sorry. be that many mm -hmm. webmen. No. Okay. Hello. Um, everybody ready to meet in two weeks? Two weeks. Uh, two weeks. At twelve thirty. Oh yeah. Did you start <laughs> early today? We did. Yes, you did. Yeah. I got here a little bit before twelve thirty. How did? Like, how, why is the TV? Up how did? Yeah. How did we know, know to come was early? Was early? No, no, it's we just that we were here. Oh. No, I. Because I, 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 I knew I there would be a bunch of people there. Phone wanted to leave at one. Oh. And so I was anxious to get the meeting started okay. as soon as I had it. Because when I walked in, it seemed like it had been going yeah. on. And you yeah, too. You missed, like, I had only, I had only just five. gotten okay. here too. Five you minutes. missed five minutes. Okay. I, I, I jumped the I was like, holy cow, minutes. did it start at 12 <clears throat> well, and yeah. I didn't get the email? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, so just one other, can we talk about other business? Sure. Um, Dan, I got an email from what? Planet New Canaan. Um, they are, there's a lot of interest and a lot of pressure for them to uh, establish a swap shop. Mm -hmm. And they want to know if they're, they're not ready to do it yet, but at some point, can they come down again, bring more people to um, tour our swap shop? And, you know, assume, I'm assuming they're going to want to talk about, like, how much do you envision that it saves on MSW and so on and so forth? Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so I'll just have them get in touch and we'll, with you. We'll talk to you for some stats. Yeah. Know, okay. We'll have that available. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, let me do Yeah, that. I guess I should technically say that at a special meeting you can't add oh, your business. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, that's We're just trying to get stuff done here. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it is. You can do it offline. Just we'll do it offline. Talk about anything. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, just got excised. <laughs> so 2.1, I got the invasive list. So if I can figure out who can put this on the town website for me, there's one, like, five points. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, is that what you were at? Yeah, yeah. okay. Cindy, Cindy, I guess. Thanks then. for bringing new Canaan on Cindy to the uh, 2.1. Yeah, it's C. Wilson is, at uh, Isn't Cindy from Canaan on? Cindy's in DPW. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk to her. And there's Park and Rec, too, because they look, I don't, I, again, I, the answer is I don't know who's point. responsible. We'll, we'll have to but talk to Kathy. Yeah, so that's part of the thing you and I are doing. Oh, I didn't know we were I think we're doing it together, right? I didn't know. So I kept emailing you. When did you think I was just well, like, I, I, how you doing? I, <laughs> I know, no, no, don't worry. On board, I, I thought I was just doing board. it. I, I, You're, I, I think, think oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's 2.10, facilitate yeah. invasive species. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is 2.10. 2.10. 2.10. There's like 10 points to this thing. Invasive species education and management. Yes. <coughs> it makes um, a lot of sense. Wow, 210 is like, there's like a trillion different actually items on 210. Okay, yeah. they have to be in by I mean, it seems to me, well, the so the, to be the question is, yeah. which website should it be on, right? Like, 
Well, should on your EP, you should miss be, it, you mean, that, yeah, but should, I can't say that word. Municipal. Municipal. <laughs> should it be EPC <laughs> that helps you upload it? Oh, yeah. The Environmental it's Protection Commission. Like, or should okay. it be Parks and Rec yeah. that helps yeah. you yeah. upload it? Who's the most appropriate uh, you know, page to be on? So I should reach out to both of them. Yeah, I okay. mean, I would talk to. I think I would talk to Rich Jacobson about okay. invasive species yeah, management. Yeah, that's, that's who I know. Who I okay, because that's because EPC is the Conservation Commission and the Wetlands Agency, and okay. and that's a relevant topic for both of them. Of so I think working with with Rich to get it uploaded would be the way to go. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you. I will. Um, and he's just down down in PNC offices down on the left. Which has house been? Or, or before that, are we done? We're done. Motion to adjourn. Motion to Second. adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Second. All right. We are adjourned. Thank you.